Boxing King Media in association with Boxstraw. Eddie Hearn, are you aware that fans are always keeping an eye on you when Ebony walks in? Are you conscious of that? Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's always a tricky one, and uh, you know, I just Ebony gave me a pair of sunglasses today, so. That was a nice touch as well. But Did yeah. you use them? No, no, I didn't. I mean, look, this is a real fight. This is... Uh, Ebony's very good at what she does in terms of getting people to tune in to watch, but she's also a serious fighter. And this isn't a gimmick. Like, if this was a gimmick, you'd be fighting an eight-round fight against an easy opponent. She's fighting pound for pound one of the best champions in the sport, and it will be an absolute war. So, way in taken care of. Now we can watch the real stuff tomorrow night, which is a brilliant fight. Uh, the main event got a bit tasty at the yeah. weigh-in. You know, if Warrington does win the fight, uh, obviously the world potential fight, Santa Cruz, which one appeals to you more as a promoter? I think it's what appeals... I mean, for me, what appeals to me is doing a big domestic fight with, with Lee Wood at the city ground. But for Josh Warrington, he's kind of always been looking for that away day for the fans to the US, the unification. So there's Navarrete, there's Santa Cruz. And I think that's one of the reasons why you're seeing Josh so pumped for this, because he knows what's coming on the other side if he can win. But Kiko as well, you know, just uh, fired up, full of confidence, thinking you're going to get a great fight. Uh, and if it does go down that road, Warrington and uh, Wood both probably want it in their home grounds. Uh, who wins that yeah, battle? I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I did promise Lee Wood a fight at the city ground, so we'll have to see. But um, Josh Warrington at Ellen Road, Nottingham Forest, you know, it's, 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 it sells out either one. Um, quick mention of Kez Ashfak. Uh, obviously, I believe he's not with Matchroom anymore. Any news on that? Because obviously he's not fighting tonight. Yeah, no. Um, I haven't, we haven't dealt with uh, Kez for, for quite a long time, so it hasn't been with Matchroom uh, for a while. I think he was looking at other opportunities. Um, I'm not sure what happened with those, but no, we love Kez, but no, not working with him at the moment. Your old friend Lennon Delaby, what better way to get back at him by signing Javonta Davis? What's the chance of that? Yeah, it would be quite sweet, wouldn't it? Look, I think uh, you don't know what to believe. As I said in another interview just now, obviously if Javonta Davis came available into the marketplace, everyone would be bidding because he's a star and he's a great fighter. So we'll see what happens. I don't, like I said, I don't, don't know what's true and what's not, but certainly he's uh, one of the biggest stars of the sport. Last question on Frank Warren. If you guys actually came together in a room, I, I don't think you've met recently, but if you did, what would actually happen? How would it go down? Well, I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I don't think that... Um, I don't know, would he buy me a pint? I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't think it'd be overly hospitable. Yeah, I would, of course, of course. Listen, I had it with Stephen Espinosa at the Canelo uh, plant fight. Went over to him in the Hennessy hospitality and said, hey, Stephen, how you doing? And he, he looked at my hand, he looked at me like I was a piece of shit and walked out of the room. And I thought, that's the type of man you are, mate. Interesting. Last one, Boxing King Media. We're on the verge of hitting 100k on YouTube. Really so good. I want to thank you guys for allowing us access to your shows and uh, appreciate it. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers.